This is insane. Maybe I should just get the hell out of here. Yeah, but if people knew about this, it would blow their tiny little minds. Maybe I've hit the jackpot. I gotta be smart about this. Figure out how to make this work for me. And the blog. Think, Patterson, think. Okay, I'll just play along for now. See where this goes. And listen, Patterson, do your best to remember everything. Keep recording these audio logs. They'll help me write up the story later. Make your way to the cellar. Staring down at you from your bedroom wall now, would you? That's called a shaska, a Russian sword. Very popular with those bloodthirsty Cossacks. Welcome to the dining room. It was a sight to behold back in its day. She pulled out all the stops. The champagne flowed in here some nights, I can tell you.
get stuck with a puzzle, give that button on the side of the tool a squeeze, and I will see if I can help you. If you decide you don't need my help, just press the button on the side of the tool to let me know. I should keep my thoughts to myself. Remember, each of the ships has a different colored hull. See if you can match the ship's mast with those in the picture on the wall. Way to the room barometer wherever you like. Finally. How are you feeling? Upset, as you might imagine. But I've sorted out what those lights are. <laughs> what? They're not just party tricks? They're me. That is to say, they're fragments of my own mind. We found a way to extract brain waves, mental energy, and convert them into light waves, essentially. Each time I receive those lights, my memories return, literally. That's ridiculous. It's quite possible, I assure you. The proof is right in front of you. Clearly, the memories can survive outside of the host without any degradation. Fascinating. This means the damage isn't permanent. Oh, thank God for that. So, this is real. You're really a person. Who looks like a blob. And whose mind is splattered all over the mansion. That's quite a description. You have a way with words. I'll give you that. But, that's all I can remember at the moment. Here, just give me some more lights and then I'll know more. Blast it! Blast it! Bloody Russian couplings always fail me. I knew I should have used Sheffield Steel. Don't worry, I can fix it. Of course I can fix it. I built these machines, didn't I? I can damn well make them go. Hey! Hey, there are those images again! What? Oh, yes, yes. When you focus your mind down here, your thoughts appear. I'm thinking about the schematics for this machine. I'll have it sorted out in no time. Well, I'm glad you can keep that stupid thing going, because it's my ticket out of this place. And I don't plan to stay down here forever with you. It won't break. Uh, just did. She's not in danger. Not yet, anyway. There. That's better. Oh, that's good news. But she still needs my help. So I need to do something that's quite difficult for me, frankly. What's that? Another dose, please. The suspense is killing me. I wonder what will happen if you press... I need to trust you. Because I need to get out of here, and you're the only one who can make that happen. Trust me with what? You've seen my mansion. You've seen the machines. But that's only the tip of the iceberg. Did you know there's a lab in there? No, there isn't. I didn't see one. You're not supposed to see it. It's hidden away from prying eyes. But if you help me... I'll give you full access to it. And more besides. Maybe I'll just find it on my own. One more time, if you would. Ah. Ah, oh, that's better. No, you won't. It's under lock and key. But you are going to find the keys. And then you'll go into the lab and help me escape this place. In exchange, I'll give you something you've been dreaming of. <laughs> oh, really? What am I dreaming of, Talbot? I have some ideas about that. And, at any rate, everything I need to help Rena is in the lab. So it's important. Will you help me? I'm at your mercy. Okay, sure. Good. That's settled then. 
Here's how you access the lab. I designed a series of locks to keep the lab safe. You need to collect the keys to open those locks. The keys themselves are only accessible when you complete all three circuits in a room. Which rooms? That I don't know. But I do remember that there are eight keys. You know when you found one because they're marked in a small, unique image. As soon as you find one, bring it to me so that I can activate it. It won't work otherwise, you say. Extra security. Sounds like you went through a lot of trouble to hide a couple of keys. Couldn't you just, I don't know, hide them under a fake rock or something? I taught mechanical engineering, my dear. Tinkering was my specialty, but never mind that. The sooner we finish our work, the sooner I can help Rena. I'm no use to her until I can remember what happened and work to fix it. Don't forget to bring me those keys as soon as you find them.